saving is done automatically as you navigate the tree. So now we have all these changes made and let me even change the row set ID and move to next tree. When I come back, you actually see all these changes remain. So you don't really need to worry about saving, but you can do it manually if you want to. If you go to file and save, it will save manually. And you can also use the shortcut control S. If you want to save your annotation to somewhere else, then you can choose file save as option. It will bring you this window, save file. Then you can save your annotation to your local hard drive. When you're done with the annotation, you can open another task by choosing File Open or Control O. This will bring you the dialog we saw before. So let me try to choose a new task, to dot task, and press Enter. It will bring you different trees. So let me show you one thing. Um, if I press Control O and see the dialog. Notice to dot task is in my task list instead of being new task. So Jubilee actually knows what kind of tasks you have worked before. If you don't want to do anything with this, just um, press cancel. Let me show you one last thing. If you want to use different language, you have to choose a different setting. So let me bring up this dialog again. Right now it is set to english.sample so let me switch to chinese.sample and choose one.task. You see all these Chinese characters. Jubilee can be worked with Chinese, Arabic, Korean, and English. I haven't tried with other languages yet. I don't have the frame set file for this Chinese word so that's okay. And you see all these new argument view with new text. So these text do not exist in English. So you actually can see the argument text have been updated. And all the functions work the same. Just like navigating the tree. And you can put the argument with this text. So Jubilee actually is a language independent tool. That's it for this time. If you have any question or comment, please email to gino.choi at colorado.edu. Thank you and enjoy Jubilee.